World Radio Day is celebrated February 13th each year. This followed a proclamation in 2011 by the member states of UNESCO, which was later endorsed by the United Nations General Assembly on January 14, 2013 as an International Day. As with previous years that recognized World Radio Day, we at Before, Behind and Between celebrate radio as a precursor medium to podcasting and a form of expression that still inspires podcasts around the world. As part of our observances of World Radio Day 2024, the following episode shares three World Radio Day minutes, originally produced by UNESCO, the United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization. The three minutes we share in this episode provide a background about the social, technological impact of radio, how radio and audio technologies contribute to public safety measures during emergencies, for example, and the value of transmitting the human voice to serve as a grassroots catalyst for connectedness and advocacy. For more information about World Radio Day, visit UNESCO.org. Before, Behind, and Between is a production of Henley Point. This podcast is available on all streaming apps and podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, YouTube, and TuneIn. Visit henleypoint.ca or stephenchristiansen.ca for more information and archived episodes of this program. I'm your host, Stephen Christiansen. I hope you enjoy these World Radio Day Minutes. Now. Presenting a World Radio Day Minute, proclaimed in 2011 by UNESCO and endorsed by the United Nations General Assembly in 2012 as a UN International Day, February 13 is World Radio Day. As a consumer electronics appliance, radio has been through many configurations since first appearing on store shelves in the early 20th century. It's been mostly AM, which stands for amplitude modulation, and FM, which means frequency modulation. But we mustn't forget that shortwave and ham radio have also been important during these hundred plus years. There was even a time when radio was listened to with headphones on simple non-powered devices called crystal sets. Today, AM FM radios come with a variety of power sources, including batteries, solar panels, and cranks to generate energy. Now in the digital era, we have DAB radio, satellite radio, streaming radio, and the development of radio-style innovations such as podcasting. Radio continues to evolve. This has been a World Radio Day Minute from UNESCO. Presenting a World Radio Day Minute, proclaimed in 2011 by UNESCO and endorsed by the United Nations General Assembly in 2012 as a UN International Day, February 13 is World Radio Day. One of radio's enduring traits is its grassroots focus. When it comes to emerging trends in music, pop culture, sports, news, and opinion, radio's always been most effective when it reflects and gives voice to the street. The music, language, and concerns of everyday people, no matter their age, gender, origin, or economic position, can be included. Freedom of expression has had an advocate, a fertile ground on which to grow on the radio airwaves. This has been one of the keys to radio's popularity and ability to survive for well over a hundred years, and it's the answer to what it'll take for the medium to have a positive impact on inclusion and mutual understanding for the foreseeable 21st century. This has been a World Radio Day Minute from UNESCO. Presenting a World Radio Day Minute, proclaimed in 2011 by UNESCO and endorsed by the United Nations General Assembly in 2012 as a UN International Day, February 13 is World Radio Day. For democracy to survive and even thrive, and for peace to ultimately prevail, it is important for radio and those guiding its programming to remain true to the fundamental principles of freedom of expression and right to information. In a noisy world of competing narratives, reliable broadcasters treat guests, callers, and listeners, and each other, with respect and civility. Radio will survive in the years to come if its practitioners avoid the tendency to pursue victory at the expense of accuracy and fairness. For more than a century as an iconic mass medium, radio has generated goodwill and has been guided by this compass. May it continue in that direction. This has been a World Radio Day Minute from UNESCO.
production of Henley Point.